internet. Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm Ashley Skeva. And I'm Jeff Kanata, and we are here to deliver, hand deliver, some headlines. Tiny apartments are becoming all the rage in urban areas, but what are you going to do with all your furniture? Well, maybe this. Ori is kind of like an apartment in a box. It's a large piece of robotic furniture that can change its shape on demand depending on the user's needs. Ori can shift into three different types of rooms, a bedroom, an office, and a living room. Those are all available, and the unit fits comfortably inside a tiny 200-square-foot apartment. Ori's CEO says the company feels, quote, space should adapt to activities instead of the other way around, unquote. It can be used manually if the motor breaks and has safety sensors to keep Ori from shifting if a person is sleeping in it or in the path of the moving walls. The company plans to start selling Ori to developers first, but would love to offer the system directly to consumers someday as well. Isn't this what Spider-Man and his amazing friends had? We pushed a button and the walls would all move around. Everything moves, whoop, 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 shifts and stuff. But I mean, with cool. micro apartments becoming really popular, this is the kind of thing we're going to start seeing become really prevalent. Well, the thing that's, I think, most exciting about this is how outside the box, no pun intended, <laughs> people are thinking with regard to living spaces now. There are so sure. many interesting ideas th being thrown at the wall. It's really cool. It is Another pun. So true. I can't help myself. Uh, hey, if you live in Switzerland, Germany, or the UK, you may be noticing some interesting couriers around town. Starship Technologies is rolling out autonomous delivery robots designed specifically for short-range local deliveries. This is the start of a pilot program which aims to learn more about starting a true robotic delivery service and get the public more comfortable with the idea of robot couriers rolling around. The robots move around 6 to 16 kilometers an hour, have multiple cameras and sensors on board, and are composed of off-the-shelf products to keep costs down. If you're worried your package will get stolen, human operators monitor each of the robot's journeys to ensure proper delivery. And a unique pin gives the buyer access to the robot's contents. Dozens of these have been deployed in London, Dusseldorf, Bern, and more cities are going to be added later in the testing countries. Including the United States of America. Yeah? Bring your robots here. I Bring want... us your uh, your autonomous delivery vehicles. I think this is the wave of the future. I think so. And this is sort of the last mile problem with, uh, you know, how do you get things from one place to another locally once you get it to a main sort of distribution warehouse. So this is, yeah. like, awesome. So this and drone delivery, I think between the two, we're all set, guys. We don't need any more methods of delivery. And it sounds like some pretty smart solutions, like you put in your pin when it arrives. It's yeah. all secure. It's monitored. People are watching yeah. the dr the robots as they go around town. And also, they're really cute. They look like little rolling coolers. They're really fun. Uh, what do you want to talk about on... You want to talk about, on the long show, apartment robots? Or do yes. you want to talk about street robots? <laughs> I like apartment robots. I all want right. to talk about how I want to live in the future. Okay, that sounds great. And yeah. if you guys want to talk about that too, you can use the hashtag HeyTD and talk to us on Twitter. That's how we know that you are participating in the conversation. We're going to delve deep on Thursday, and we'd love to include your comments, so hit us up on the Twitters. Yes, and with that being said, let's check out our phone talker for the day. Today's phone photographer of the day is Juan, who took this adorable photo with a Nexus 6P. Yeah, Juan wrote to us and said, Hey, TD crew, here's a picture of the love of my life, Hamilton. I named him that because when I first got him as a kitten, I put him in a Hamilton Beach toaster box so he wouldn't get lost in my house. I took this with my Nexus 6P and cropped and edited it on Instagram. Hope you guys think he's as adorable as I do. You most definitely have permission to use this on the show. Hugs, Juan. I there's, like that he sent hugs, first of all. <laughs> hugs are great. There's no way that Hamilton doesn't know he's being photographed here. And also, he's just posing. And also, Hamilton was Hamilton before Hamilton was Hamilton. <laughs> what? It was like pretty good. Nice. It's like you done. knew that your cat could be famous someday. Uh, we love these pet, pet pictures. Uh, I do too. This month is uh, pet themed, so yes. we're appreciating all of the pet themed photography that you guys are sending in. It's great. Yes, so send in, if you want to be photographer of the day, uh, you want to submit your picture, send it to tomorrow at cnet.com. And like Jeff said, the theme this month is pets. And it doesn't have to be a traditional pet, just FYI. Yeah. Uh, and be sure to tell us what device you took it on. Give us permission to use it on the show. Give us a little story about why you took it and any pronunciation that we might need help on, we appreciate that too. <laughs> 
Yes. Uh, that is it for today's show. We, uh, You can find us on social media or tomorrowdaily.com if you want to share the show with somebody, which we always appreciate. Mm -hmm. uh, spread the word, if you will, like a virus. Get us out there like Zika. Well, <laughs> maybe not the best metaphor. Maybe like that. I don't know. <laughs> Just get us out like there. A, Tell like, your friends. Like some sort of hug. Like an exciting friends. sale. Like an exciting sale. <laughs> you Tell go. your friends about it. Uh, you can find us as individuals on social media as well, at Ashley Skeva. At Jeff Kanata. Uh, that is it for today. We'll be back tomorrow with a brand new docket of science fact and science fiction, smooshing together like a delicious sandwich. But until then, be good humans. See you guys next time. Bye.